resin is very forgiving even though it seems like a finite product it really is not so all we're going to do is this I have my Dremel tool I've outfitted it with a drill bit that's about the same size as that little hole and I'm just going to fire it up and all I'm going to do is and you have to hold on to it, see? Because the Dremel tool will make it fly bye-bye. So I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to turn you off just for a second, but this is, I'm going to put the drill right in there, and I'm going to drill a little tunnel where that hole is, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see I've got the remnants here in resin dust, but I drilled a little hole right in that face, and I did not drill to the paper. I don't want to mar the artwork underneath. I just want to make a little cavern so that I can re-pour. And what's going to happen is the resin will seal right into that hole that I've drilled and you're never going to know that it's even there. Okay, so my resin is ready to go. It's rested and mixed. See, we still got our little hole right in the middle can you see that and roll it around just a smidgen there it is okay so the only tools that you're gonna need will be your resin and this toothpick so here we go I'm gonna take and you probably should wear gloves if you don't want to get your hands all messy I'm gonna take just my stick which is your other tool and I'm just gonna drop it right in that little hole and in order to just make sure that I'm not creating another bubble, and you can see how clear that is, but you can see there's another bubble rising in it because it didn't make it. So I'm just going to stir it around with this toothpick point until I know that that bubble and the resin is going to seat all the way down. There we go. I popped it, and I'm just going to push some back in that hole. I'm going to dip my toothpick in the resin and I'm going to move it from the side to try not to capture any more air in that hole. So, video's a smidge blurry, I think, but um, you get the idea. Now I'm going to take my toothpick, because I want to pour the whole surface so I don't have any marks, I'm just going to run a ring around the edge so that it forms some surface tension and I can pour another dome on top of the one I already have and it will all stay in place. If you don't kind of take it all the way to the edge you risk having a little bit of a mark or, or it'll pour right off the side so you want to make sure that you can see I'm just running it over the edge I'm going to set it back down so that I can do this without resining my hand and pour it with my stick. I love the sticks. And I'm just going to drop all the way around and that little line, you don't want to go overboard, you just want a nice layer. Make sure it's all in contact and you have a surface puddle all over the top. One more in the middle. And I'm not going to do any more than that because I don't want it to run over the edges and if you do get crazy it will come off and I'm just going to use my straw I'm going to do a little blowing because I see a couple surface bubbles and and voila once we look at this I'll take a picture of it tomorrow you won't even know there was any kind of mark or that we drilled or did anything to it so that's how you fix it